So welcome to this um, next video about Git. My name's David Thorne. So now, if you're watching this video, um, there's going to be a lot of people you work with um, that use Git um, that will suddenly stand up and scream and shout because they've just deleted something and, then they, and they've been working for hours and now they've deleted it with Git, all right? And they think, oh no, I've done git reset hard, or which is another command we need to talk about. And all of my work's gone. It's gone. And I can't get it back again. And I've just lost hours and hours and hours and hours. And you'll be sat there chuckling and laughing inside yourself thinking, I know how to use git and you don't. All right? Because what I know is that if you commit something in git, it's there. It's staying. And unless you delete that git folder, it's not going anywhere, all right? You might see that it's gone in that folder. You might see that this branch has gone. You might see that something's gone, but that data is still there, all right? And I can promise you, it's still there. So let's do this then, shall we? So we're on the about feature, and uh, let's then say git checkout and uh, delete me branch, not D, but B, get checkout, delete me branch, and then we'll touch test.html, and we'll say uh, added HTML page, this is a, a short, yeah, that's just a, a shortcut for it, and then we'll then um, come here, and we'll then come to tests and say, hey, this is the test information we'll save this and we'll then say get dash m added test information and that adds another commit and then we'll then say touch um, trash dot html and then we'll say echo hello world whoops and we'll put this in trash.html and then we'll say uh, git add, git commit, added trash html, git checkout. Okay, so before we do that, let's have a look at what we've what we've got so far. Alright, let's look at our uh, log and put it on one line. And we see here we're on branch delete me added trash.html, added test information, added HTML page, all right? That's potentially what we have, and inside the working directory we have trash.html, test.html, and we can revert back to added uh, HTML, so we can say git checkout here, and now um, we now see that we're back at test.html without any um, let's um, what was the branch name? Delete me. Okay, well now we're back here again and test HTML, the page is there again, and trash is there as well, and everything everything is there, alright? Exactly how we wanted it. And we we'll look at git log once again uh, and one line. Everything is there on delete me and it's all being committed, right? And we're on that one branch. So we then say get checkout about feature and then by mistake we then say get checkout that get get branch dash D and delete me. Alright, the branch delete me is not fully merged. There we go, I said it was to do with merging. And you need to use capital D. Alright? Oh no, my work has been deleted. It's terrible. I've just wasted hours with my work. And you look at log, added style, there's no delete me there. And wait a minute, let's panic a little bit more. Panic, jump up and down and get branch. But no, my delete me file is gone and log is not there. Nothing's, nothing's there. Panic some more. Oh no, I've lost all of my work now. All right. And you're sat there chuckling and saying, yeah, yeah, I know, it's okay. So what if I could do all of your work in, you know, like 10 seconds and get it back again? Would you, would you be happy? 
And they're like, no, it's you can't do it. It took me hours to do. And you're like, well, what what were your commits called? And they're like, um, yeah, I I added a trash file. And you say, did you add like test information? And they're like, yeah. And you did you add a HTML? Yeah, that's what I did. And uh, they're like saying, oh well, wow, that's really clever. How did how did you know that? And you say, well, so you see here, check out moving from here to delete me, moving from delete me to here, right? Added trash.html. And that there looks like what we need, right? So we come to here and say, get check out this and look at our folder. There it is. It's all back again, even though the branch was deleted. Right, even though it was all it was all gone, and we come to to check out once again to about feature, right? And we can say get reset, oops, hard, and now we're back at back at where we was were supposed to be, right? And the branches are not there, right? That delete me branch is gone, but we were able to get those one those files back. Okay, and if I say get check um, get cherry pick, and we use this one this one branch, we'll see here. Look, added test, and I've got this trash.html. Nothing to nothing to worry about. And even if I want to then um, go back, yeah, I've got I've got nothing to worry about because I've got this trash.html, and then I can come in here and say trash.html get rid of it look at my status again and it's deleted it yeah I'm fine with that so we we'll just say get add removed so removed um, trash.html because it was trash oops wrong ones keep pressing doing that and look at my log and there we see remove trash because it was trash and all's fine now all right so what was the magic that we used there was actually no magic it was just git right so we have git log and that shows the active log of that one branch okay it shows the log of only this one branch and if we check out develop right and then say get get log here check out contact there's none of this trash here all right there's none of this this stuff that uh, about feature about feature had okay and but we're now on the develop branch if i then say get ref log look at this it says checking out moving from about feature to develop Commit, remove trash HTML because it was trash. Cherry pick, add. There's everything there that I've done. Absolutely every single thing that I've done. And if you ever get confused about what head is, that just says your the 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 place where your your get is at the moment. And I can go here and look all the way back to head 24. So we can see all of the commits that we've done. Um, moving from stage into master. You can keep going down all the way. All the way and to see every single commit that I've done on this one device okay ref log is all about this one device you don't export all of this right so it's it's all of your commits get exported and this stays um, for you so it, as you as you can see you you're never deleted any files as long as you've committed it right and one of these hashes has been created it's there Right, so you just look at git ref log. If in doubt, commit, and if pa someone's panicking, then use git ref log. Okay, it's it shows up for every single commit. And if we say git checkouts um, staging, git ref log, what does it say? Checkout moving from develop to staging, and we're on. We can see the the commit that we're on. If you want to go back to cherry pick added trash.html, um, then we go back to that again. If you want to go back to here, then we just say get checkout 
and we see where we move to now. Where do we move to? It's the same. Okay, we move to here. And we can see then git log. Where are we now? Added style to remove all padding and margin in the body. All right. And yeah. So we can then say git checkout um, head. Oops, two. Let's just clear this. So we can then say git checkout head. Right. And that then will, if we then say git ref log, will move you back to head zero, okay, which was um, here. It's, it, it, to me, it's a very, very powerful tool um, that, you can, that you can use, okay? And we go back to de develop again, all right? And we go, go back to um, staging. But just to show you that you're, you're never deleting anything, all you're doing is you're adding an entry in your in your log file in your reference log file of what you've done right and if you delete something as long as it's being committed it's still there right and as long as you've um, yeah as long as you've committed it it's still there all right so um, that's it I love git ref log right and the day that I learned what git ref log was then I stopped worrying about everything that I did with git and just made sure that if I used any uh, command like reset, first of all, git commit. All right. There is another another tool that we can use, uh, another way of getting around it, um, and it is using the stash. Um, but we can talk about that in another video. So that's it for now. Um, yeah, git ref log. Have have a look at it. it it's awesome. Uh, see you in the next video.